guys what is going on today I have a super fun YouTube video Adobe has given me access to their new Adobe Illustrator app that is out now but I've been playing around with it for a while now and I wanted to share with you guys on YouTube kind of how I'm using it to create on the iPad you guys know I love creating on the iPad and this app is freaking awesome it le legit is like Adobe Illustrator desktop but on the iPad for a while I was using Adobe draw but now it's like having all of the tools in Adobe Illustrator, pretty much all of them, on the iPad, and I cannot wait to show you guys. So today, I am gonna be creating a piece of art with the theme of All Together Now in light of Adobe Max. This year's theme is All Together Now, so I wanted to create something using the new Adobe Illustrator app on my iPad and kind of go through the process as I'm creating it, my workflow in the app, tell you guys my favorite tools. Hopefully, you like the process I'm creating. Guys, if you guys have any questions, drop a comment below. Also, I will link the app down below in uh, the description so you guys can download that on your iPad. You guys are gonna love it. It's super awesome, super fun. I can't believe that there is something like this on the iPad. It's sick. All right, let's create. As you can see on the Illustrator app over here, they have the pen tool, which is amazing. They've got a brush tool, which is usually my go-to. I'm super stoked about. They've got a uh, eraser, you got your shapes, you can hold this down, you can select different shapes. They even have text, so all you typographists, you can get down on this. Um, here we can change all of our art preset, artboard presets, which is super nice and handy. Um, and then this button that I use a lot that I'm gonna use right now is you can upload files, photos, cloud documents, all sorts of stuff. Change your colors over here. Um, and then on the right side, you have your layers. You've got all your properties to adjust, opacity, all that stuff and cut, change up some stuff, fun stuff over there. But we can show you some of that later. Right now, I'm gonna kind of go through my process, guys, of what I normally do. So I've already got a piece of art that I kind of doodled and sketched. I usually have that and as my background layer. So I'm gonna go into this little photo icon and import my photo, photos. I've got this right here and there she is. So I add that on one layer. So I've got this layer right here. And then after that, we're gonna add another layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer, I'm gonna change the opacity of this layer. Just right here. Go down a little bit more, a little bit more. So you can barely see it. Oh, there we go. All right, there. And I actually locked this bottom layer until I come back to it. So I'm just gonna redraw my little sketch thing that I did on here uh, with Sharpie, but I'm gonna use my brush tool. So I'm gonna hide the layers, go to my brush tool, change this, change this to black, there we go. Um, I'm gonna change the size. So right down here, this number, you can change the size of your brush. So I'm gonna go with go with a little bit bigger. I think I'm gonna go with like a no, okay. 10. Come on, give me 10. There we go. I'm gonna start with a 10. So this year's uh, theme at Adobe Max is all together now, which is very fitting for 2020. Um, so that's kind of why I drew this, these two hands kind of like joining together and holding. Kind of just resembles like how we're all together whether it's a creative community or just uh, everyone in general, that we need to be all together, love on each other. Also, I don't know if you can kind of see this, but I've got I've got like a little Easter egg hidden in this art art piece too. I'll show you if you haven't already caught that yet. Down here, I've got like they're joining together, but it's an infinity symbol. So it, I'm kind of using that as when people join together, when we're all working together, it's like it's the best it's like infinite bliss so it's like everything that you want is everyone working together as one everyone has their unique qualities everyone's got their unique abilities their superpowers if you want to say and everyone has to be fully working together using all their different abilities to make the world go round right like if everyone was doing that perfectly this place would be amazing that's what it'd be like it'd be like a perfect working car but when not everyone is working together, that's when things go to crap. So that's what the infinity symbol shows down there is that when we're all together, when we're joining together, 
it's like infinite goodness. So we're just gonna finish outlining this. And after outlining, I usually go to color. The only thing that I wish I could do in this Illustrator app, unless I haven't figured it out yet, which I don't think you can, is rotate the screen. So I was using Adobe Draw a lot. And in Adobe Draw, you can actually use your fingers pinch and turn and you can rotate the screen like that without having to turn your iPad, which I like a lot. But granted, they're always making updates to this thing. So I'm sure the app just came on. I'm sure they're gonna make some epic tweaks. But so far the app has been amazing. I'm gonna rotate this. The amount of times it takes me to read you a line sometimes is kind of sad, but it has to be perfect. Okay. Sometimes too, I like to go over things. I do a lot of, a lot of my artwork has thicker lines. So I probably will end up going around this one more time, but I'm gonna add a circle around here. Oh, here we go. All right. We're gonna change the stroke of the circle. So you go down, you tap the circle, tap the object, then down here at the bottom, next to this like transparent background icon, you have the three different lines, you hit that, and then you can drag this to change the stroke width and make it nice and thick. It's thicker is better. We're gonna erase this. Let's get that. Let's erase. So I'm gonna use the pen tool to make this circle because I love pen tools. Oh, come on. There we go. That. Hit this spot. All right like using the pen tool in illustrator is amazing especially when it's on the freaking ipad i still can't believe this okay so now we're going to i'm actually going to go over my little illustration but first i'm going to take away the background layer so i can get rid of this I'm gonna disappear that we're going to go back to my main layer and i'm going to use the brush tool I'm gonna redraw over some of this. I'm gonna change the width to like 18 maybe. There we go. Make this a little bit thicker. All right, now I'm gonna add a uh, background to this. Cause I kinda want the focus to be on the hands holding, like they're all together. I am going to, usually my backgrounds are pretty gnarly. I'm gonna just create something fun, simple, not too distractive, distracting. All right guys, I'm gonna add some color now. So what I normally do is I'll add another layer. Let's do that, but I make the color layer the background, pretty traditional. Uh, I'm gonna lock the layer with all of my outline. And normally in Adobe Draw, I would use the brush tool and I would color everything. But since this is more like Illustrator, I'm actually gonna be using uh, the pen tool and I'm gonna be filling in color that way. So, take that color there might be a faster way to do this but i'm not positive yet i've only been using it for a little while now so if you guys figure something out drop a comment let me know i would love to hear it. all right i love to use bright colors neons all those fun colors because i feel like they make people happy it makes me happy since i want the the hands to be like the main focus. I'm actually going to do one of my a brighter color behind that. It kind of draws people in to what is going on. Digging it. I'm digging it. Um, maybe we'll throw a light, maybe like a light purple on there. I'm gonna lock this. We're gonna add another layer. Let's see, purple.
That was awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my Adobe Illustrator tutorial on the iPad. If you guys want to download it, Adobe Illustrator for the iPad is out now. I will link that in the description below. If you guys have any questions about the app or anything like that or my workflow, drop a comment below and we will chat. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace.